Hey everyone, Lily from Sweet to Savory. Welcome to today's recipe where I'm gonna show you how to make maple garlic soy salmon. I know, say that three times in a row. Super tender salmon with a simple marinade that you can do within 30 minutes and bake for 15 minutes and you'll have dinner on the table in no time. Let me show you how to do it. Start by rinsing your salmon with cold water and pat it dry with paper towels. Then cut it into six individual fillet pieces. You can also use frozen salmon for this recipe by thawing it in the refrigerator the night before. Place all the fillets into a shallow dish and set it aside for now. I love salmon, especially Atlantic salmon. It has the right amount of meat to a fat ratio, making it so tasty as a healthy meal. I get my salmon from Costco because you get the most bang for your buck to meal prep or to cook dinner for the whole family. To make the marinade, combine pure maple syrup, which is not to be confused with pancake syrup, soy sauce with full sodium, minced garlic, chili flakes for some heat, but you can skip this if you're not a fan, and juice from half a lemon. Mix everything together and taste the marinade. Adjust it to your liking. I like mine balanced between sweet and salty, which is why I also season my salmon fillets with an extra teaspoon of kosher salt. The lemon juice and fresh garlic in the marinade give the fish a tasty nutty spice and zest counterbalance in flavor. Pour your marinade over the salmon and gently combine it with the fillets. Cover it with plastic wrap and refrigerate your fish for 30 minutes to one hour. Do not exceed marinade time past two hours because the acidity in the lemon juice breaks down the protein in the salmon. If you marinate it for too long, your fish ends up too mushy. Allow salmon to reach back to room temperature by removing it from your fridge half an hour before you bake it. By doing so, your salmon will cook evenly. Line a baking tray with aluminum foil and spray it with cooking oil to coat it. Place salmon fillets 2 inches apart on the tray and bake them for 15 to 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Pour the excess marinade into a saucepan and cook it on medium-high heat for 10 to 15 minutes or until the sauce is reduced to a thick consistency. To check if your fish is cooked, use the flat side of a fork to press on the salmon gently. If it lightly flakes apart, then it's done. Another way to check if it's cooked is to insert a digital food thermometer into the thickest part of the filet. The ideal temperature your salmon should be is between 110 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's above 140, your salmon is overcooked. Cover your fish with aluminum foil and allow the salmon to rest for 10 minutes. Add a little glaze on the salmon and serve it over a bed of rice or with your favorite side vegetables. Bon appetit! Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment down below with any questions you have and be sure to subscribe. See you in my next video.